What's up guys? This is Ihar and you're watching Dance Meets People. <laughs> Hi, okay, um, my full name is Muhammad Zaihar. Okay, but usually I like people to call me Zai or Zaihar, and uh, people sometimes call me Bobo. So it's from my email last time I had, um, it's called Zaibo, so it's very Bobo. I'm a full time dance instructor teaching at Old School, and I represent styles from Beyond, uh, Old School, Old Crew, uh, Savengers, and recently Havoc. Professionally, I started teaching in 2011. Yeah, full time teaching is better eleven. But like you know, like choreographing with my group and all, I would say since two thousand uh, what is this, uh, four, two thousand five. Yeah, but professionally, yeah, I started in two thousand eleven. So that means like four to five years now. I started in two thousand one. Um, teaching was never in my mind. Okay, it just started off like. You know, watching videos and I like to copy all these moves. Back then, I have my, my crew, uh, we were called On Route and Slice. So, I was just like, hey, I, I learned this choreography and then I like to teach uh, the choreography to my friends and then we use it to perform. Slowly, it became like, you know, part of, the, part of you know, our, our, our routine and then like they all say like, okay, Zah, the next performance or competition, you choreograph, you know, and I was like, oh, okay. So, I thought like, it, I, I didn't know what it like to be a choreographer. To me, it's just like, I copy the moves or I, I try to create some and teach it to my friends and boom, perform. It was when I took classes uh, in uh, old school, in 2007. And then after class, Kenny, the founder of old school, he asked me like, you know, what am I do doing back then? You know, and what I want to do, wanted to do next. And I was just telling him, uh, I wanted to dance and perform. And so I didn't say teaching and all. And then that's why he asked me, you know, do you want to teach here in old school? I was like, what? Teach in old school? You know, and then it was very funny. I just keep repeating whatever he said. I was like, for more, I was like dumb, like, really? Full time, blah, 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 you know? And then, yeah, and then it just started from there. Lah. And it took me two years to really decide whether I want to do this or not. You know, I asked my friend, I asked my uh, family, and they said like, you know, just try. Lah. If, if it doesn't work, try something else. The last time I started b-boying, and from there, I learned choreography. I didn't know it was called hip hop or whatever. But <coughs> what really um, uh, like got my attention is uh, watching Michael Jackson. You know, he's doing all the backslide, or people know it, uh, know it as uh, moonwalk. And uh, I thought all these moves were cool. And then after that, I saw Justin Timberlake. You know, the music video, Like I Love You. That was the video that like really struck me. Like, oh, this is so cool. I want to do this. You know, to put it simply, I always. My style would be, I always emphasize a lot on musicality and uh, other than that, uh, a lot of, uh, I would say, groove and um, I like being flowy and free. I like to put myself in a, a student's point of view. You know, if I go for a class, what do I expect? You know, like usually what, my, my, what I will do is, you know, like, you know, go in and intro myself, you know, no matter how many times the student have come to my class, you never know you have new people. After that, <coughs> I, will, I will tell them, like, what's going to happen in the class, so I know, like, okay, this is going to happen, and then from there, start with, like, warm-up, stretching, and basically, I just tell them, like, the, the seat, like, what, what they, uh, they should expect in the class. And from there, I know, like, okay, if it's going to be, like, a fast choreography, then, like, okay, it's going to be fast choreography. If it's a slow one, then it's going to be slow. Or So, I like to put myself in, the student's point of view and then yeah go with that, that kind of flow like, I would say keeps me going ah okay for um like last time was more of like you know I uh, always I uh, want to share this I want to share that you know I, I hear this music I want to try something I want to share it to people and now it becomes like you know because of the support that that's been given to me you know and basically like that, that knowing that there are people out there who's like hungry or willing to learn from me that, that keeps me going you know what I like today is um, yeah of course finding music is one you know and um, of, on, on top of that um, I like to think about okay what do I want to share with the students like for class tonight you know like if let's say I want to focus on groove then I, I choose a song that's more groovy you know and if I want to focus on feeling that we choose a song that 
fits their class, you know. So for me, that's how I always prepare for my class. And then, and then, yeah, I will choreograph. I will like freestyle first, you know, or uh, I will uh, listen to the music, get the lyrics, try to understand what the song is about. I always like to prepare first so that I know what what I'm doing in class. So I spend more time teaching and less time thinking like, oh, okay, what what what's the next step? What's the next step? You know. And after class, basically, I like to um, see. Uh, okay, what can I do next? You know, based on that class, I see maybe the students need to work on their execution, like being more sharp or what. Then maybe next class, that's my motivation. Like, okay, I focus on sharpness. You know, so that's how I always like prepare for my classes, lah. I don't really get like proper rest. Um, meaning every time, even like after class or after I teach at school or something, I always like on my earphones and then okay, what 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 song what. What song I can find, you know, for uh, the, the the next uh, piece I'm gonna choreograph, or the, my next class, or let's say I have a, a, a battle that's coming up and I have to do a judge showcase, you know, what song I wanna use. So it's always that to me that's the hard part about doing what I do. I'm, my brain is always not resting. I only rest when I sleep. And the best part of it is after that, you know, the the, the result of all the hard times you had, you know, choreographing and all that. The best part is always seeing the result. You know, it came out the way you envisioned it. For example, like recital, you know, seeing the students grow and then they make new friendships and all this. And yeah, sometimes like, it's really, for me like, personally, it's nice to see that, you know, at the end people from like one person taking class, not knowing the, the people around and then after that, knowing them and after that, they, they dance together in a root in a recital and then after that you see them outside dancing together joining in other competitions like oh okay so to me that's the best part about this life you know? the feeling is awesome because i didn't know like for someone you know from a small country singapore the little red dot you know and then to be to go out there and share you know my craft my work with other people and connecting with other people i don't know the feeling is really it's crazy, yeah. I come to think of it. People get to know about Singapore, like, oh, Singapore, where is that? You know, and then they're more curious, and then they will, you know, uh, search more, they will find out more about Singapore, you know, other than like you know, the places of interest, you know, and then they find out about more the dancers here. For me, to do that is really, I say, I have a responsibility, you know, like representing Singapore, you know, always tell myself I make sure I represent well, represent hard, you know, because like for me, at the end of the day, I want people to, you know, like appreciate what we have and also, you know, like they see that, oh, as a Singapore, being a small country, we can do it, we can make it there, you know. Um, it was in Movement Lifestyle, uh, it was last year, 2014. I dreamed about teaching there, you know, but I never thought it would happen, you know, and when it happened, I was like, wow, it's crazy, you know, and um, yeah, the experience was really, uh, I don't know, no words, man. Like, to be teaching in a studio that, you know, uh, been giving me inspiration for like so many years, you know, by the man who inspired me, you know, Sean Everisto. Then, uh, yeah, to me, that was personally for me, like, the best. UDC, Urban Dance Camp, you know, and for me, because other than just like teaching there, because like the lineup is crazy. They have, you know, people from almost like all styles, you know, and I feel like it's a great opportunity. You know, if let's like, say I were to teach there, right, I also get to learn from all these people, you know. The advices I can give is, first thing, you have to love what you're doing, you know. Um, yeah, you have to enjoy it first. And then because if you are not enjoying it, then it's, it's hard for you to maintain in the long run. Always set goals or, you know, uh, it can be small, you know, because after all, all these small goals will lead to something big. Be focused, you know, you must know exactly, you know, what you want to do. And um, also, if you want to take dance as a career, like teaching and stuff, um, you know, before to me, before you teach, you always need to be a student first, you know, you need to take in as much as you can from around and then you can give 
same amount or even more to these people. Being a student is to me one of the most important things like, if you want to pursue this. You know, always being hungry. It's okay if you don't like achieve or attain all these goals because um, there will be opportunities coming in, you know, and then you just have to, you know, sometimes you gotta plan okay, whether you wanna this or not. And then once you decide whether you want or not, just as long as you don't like regret. You know, let's say you don't want this, there's this opportunity that came, you don't, you don't want to take it, it's fine. You know, but don't like regret, oh, I should have done that, you know. And then same thing, if you take this opportunity, and then you know, something happens, and you don't feel, ah, oh, I should have taken it. You know, like, that's not a good life. I feel you should just, it's either you really be open, you know, just taking whatever that's coming in, and then take that <clears throat> as a lesson. You know, be it good experience or bad experience, it will always bring you forward to what's next. It's always uh, a learning experience. Like, to me, I have, having done this for, like, for like many years I would say um, yeah experience is the best teacher you know um, like you can have people telling you like ah you know you, you can't do this you know or, or you can do this you can achieve you can but sometimes you have to do it yourself you know because only you know what's best for you from there you, you will know what you want to do in the long run you know and it, there's, to me there's always there's, there's like a point where you will reach but it's not the final destination it's always like that's the next one next one next one next one always no matter how far or how high you go don't forget to you know go back and you know uh, and see what what makes you what brings you there and that, that personally for me that's what i, I do like, like although i'm teaching or like judging or what i always like to come back and I like to go back into the scene and see what's going on. And that's why I join competition again. You know, like, to me, it doesn't mean I have all this experience, I cannot join competition anymore. Like, I like to experience that again. And I like to, you know, just to me personally, I hope to inspire or challenge, you know, dancers. You know, like, because I feel if you really want to get there, you have to work hard, work towards it. Lah. You know, there's no easy way. It's always nice to always go back. And it's a cycle, like, it's a cycle. Yeah, and always like help each other because that's how we can grow lah. You know, you have more experience, help. And then if you are young in the if you are the young generation, always be hungry, look out for, you know, uh, any ways you can learn. You know, especially now you have more resources, YouTube, you know, all these very easy access. So I would say, yeah. This is my I'm, I'm sharing with you my experience, you know, there are many people different, uh, there are other people who experience different things, so yeah, you can take whatever I've said, you know, and try, if it doesn't work, then try something else, you know, if it works good for you, you know, then pass it on, yeah, so these are, I would say, my advice for future games. Okay, I like to say, um, you know, like Zai <laughs> Hopefully you achieve whatever you know you you want to achieve, you know, you you, you hopefully you manage to reach like you not know, uh, reach for the goals that you have set for yourself and whatever it is, you know, no regrets, you know, and and you know, make sure you're happy now most important you know being happy with what you do and you have the best of you know company you know and uh yeah and congrats on whatever you've done for the past I don't know how many years yeah so keep going and uh yeah pass it on